In this video, we're going to take a look at how we can identify some key features of the sine and cosine function from the graph. So if we're given this graph, we want to find the period, amplitude, and midline of this curve. Um, this is a sine curve. We know that it's a sine curve because it starts at a zero, and then it goes up to a maximum, back to a zero, minimum zero, and so on. Um, so let's talk about the period first. So the period. The period is the distance that it takes for our graph to complete one cycle, or basically how long before the pattern repeats. So if you take a look at this, we see that it starts at a zero, goes up to a maximum, back to a zero, down to a maximum, back to a zero, then max zero, minimum zero, max zero, minimum. So how long does it take before the pattern repeats? Well, if we start at our x-intercept here, we can go up to a maximum, then to a zero, then to a minimum, then to a zero, and then a maximum. So we're going back up to a maximum. So we've completed a full cycle, and the cycle starts here, goes up to the maximum, comes down to the minimum, and then goes back up here. So this is one full cycle uh, because after this point, it goes back up to a maximum here and we'll start another cycle, right? So we can see another cycle here, right? This is just, whoops, sorry about that. This right here is just another cycle of this function and it just keeps repeating just keeps repeating over and over and over again in both the positive and negative direction so what is the period well the period is the distance that it takes for this to happen so this distance here so in this case our period is from 0 to pi so the period is pi radians so the period is pi radians. Now normally our sine function has a period of 2 pi, but this one has been adjusted to have a period of pi. So ne next let's talk about the amplitude. So the amplitude is just the height of our graph or the distance that are the distance between the midline and the maximum of or the di midline and the minimum of our graph. So the way that you find the amplitude is you just figure out what's the where's the midline. So in this case, the midline is the um, x-axis. So I guess we can knock that one off. Uh, midline is the x-axis, which has an equation of y equals 0. And so what is the distance from the midline to our maximum? Well, it's just going to be this length here. or this length here from the minimum to our midline. Well, what is that distance? That distance is three units. So that's our amplitude. So the amplitude is three. So let's take a look at another example of this. So here we're given a cosine function and we want to find the same things, amplitude, period, and the midline. Um, so one period, one, what is the period of this function? So we can, again, talk about this in terms of where it starts here at the y-axis, a y-intercept, and then figure out where its cycle is going uh, to end. So we're starting up here at a maximum, and we want to come back to a maximum. So we start here, we go down to a minimum value, and then curves back, whoops, it curves back up and we finally reach a maximum again up here. So what is this distance? The distance between these two points? Well that distance is going from 0 to 2 pi, so our period is going to be 2 pi radians. Um, what is our amplitude? Well, we talked about the amplitude being the distance from our midline to the maximum or the midline to the minimum. Well, in this case, the midline is not the x-axis. 
So how can we figure out the amplitude? Well, another way that we can think about this is by looking at the distance the distance between our maximum value and our minimum value. So this distance here from here to here, right? Because we can see that this, this, uh, this is just a, that distance there, right? So this distance from here to here is the distance between our maximum and minimum value. And then our midline is going to be halfway in between that. So what is this distance? So we can either just count the units or use uh, subtraction, right? So 4 minus a negative 2 is 6. So that means this is 6 units, which means the midline is going to be 3 units away. So 1, 2, 3. So our midline is here at y equals 1. So the midline is at y equals 1. So what would that make our amplitude? So if we imagine our midline being y equals 1 here, so here's our midline, what is our amplitude? So what is the distance from here to here? Well, this distance from here to here is just 1, 2, 3 units. So the amplitude is 3.